Let's see the outrageous. We looked at really terrible fish tanks. Let's look at actually good fish tanks and see if they're actually good from Animal Planet. I need my mind refreshed. Oh God. If this is what they consider good fish tanks with just a bunch of fake shit in them. I know like technically these tanks aren't horrible, but they just piss me off so much. They just look so bad. I can't imagine having a fish tank with a bunch of fake shit in it. Yeah, I don't really know what it is about these tanks, but like when people put like fake plastic things like, you know, SpongeBob's pineapple and all that shit and signs like this, it just doesn't look good to me. I think like planted tanks look so nice, like a really well planted tank with actual live plants looks the best that a tank can look. And stuff like this is just really not appealing to me. And it might just be my like, I don't know, fucking fish tank superiority complex, but I really don't find this appealing. Yeah, it's unnatural for the fish. It's not, I mean, the main thing of plants is plants clean and oxygenate the water and they provide hiding spots for fish. So if you're providing ample hiding spots and you're keeping the water quality and oxygen good, it's like you don't need plants necessary. Yeah, it just looks tacky. I just don't like it. The Zen tank. You got two tanks here. I love it. We came up with the bamboo. With the so it's a bunch of bamboo. I believe those are fake plants. I Maybe they're real. Pictures with the plants and everything. They look very fake, but I guess they could be real plants. Sandy bottom and just some saltwater fish, some, some butterfly fish, some puffers, feeling. dog Love face it. buffer. No, we wanted to see through, but Clown not fish, see. really. Are those plants real? I really can't tell. Those plants look really fake. Oh yeah, the bamboo is definitely fake. Those plants look really, really fake. Either way, it's not the worst. Like I said, there's hiding spots. The aquarium looks really clean. It's not the worst thing. You have over 25 fish in here. Uh, dog also, face a puffer. Yellow -bellied dog face puffer. They're and so that guy's cute. Gonna be your friend. I love puffer fish. Puffer fish are so they have such a cute personality. Look at this buck tooth. You got a buck tooth. Oh my god, I love it. Incredible. Great. That's pretty cool, huh? It's so awesome. <laughs> it's just a normal fish tank. Wow, you guys are not gonna believe this. It's clear on one side and the other side. Oh, Fucking crazy. Look at the puffer is so cute. Can't even see him. Did he say 25 different fish species? It. I've the seen puffer. like tang puffer, clownfish, so butterfly so fish. Well with the other picture. How are there 25 different species? Oh, that's it? Okay. That was in the top five tanks of all time. Fake bamboo and fake plants. Oh, 25 fish, I see. Mob museum oh, tank. This is unbelievable. See, that's a pretty good tank. Oh, sweet booby, catfish. Whoa. Are those sheep's head? What are they? Well, I had no idea that it ever turned out this way. Those black bars. They kind of look like sheep's head, but I can't tell if they are. I love the saltwater catfish, too. That's cool. And when we did the Lizzie D, the back of the boat, we authenticated the wood that's on oh, here. Oh, look at the mullet. Like I love mullet so much. Mullet are like my favorite pit fish. People think they're so stupid looking. The back of the boat, we authenticated the wood. Oh my god, look at how cute that fish is. I love mullet so much. People think mullet are really like dumb and like dumb looking in general, but I love that's them. That's on here. You see on the interior is some of the replication of what you might see when the Lizzie D sunk. So we have some I love the catfish. Crates. That's a pretty cool tank. Again, this doesn't feel like the top five tank of all time. Imagine if there was like a giant fucking planted tank, but it's not that bad. A lot of fish, kind of a small area, but it should be fine. I'll give it the seal of approval. The spa tank. Oh, Jesus. Walked in and the tank was Auto set up. spa and design? Is it a spa and a car shop? Dream. Yeah, it does look overcrowded. It does look like a lot of fish. But as far as reef fish go, I mean, that's not terribly unnatural. The tank here is 14 feet long. Eh, actually, it is a lot of fish, wide, and there are not a lot of hiding spots. 19. I think our logo is, a, is, a, is probably the best part because it kind of shines, and it's the centerpiece of the tank. <laughs> Imagine if they have to ch ever change their logo. Statement. All the coral is molded off a of real coral. We didn't molded off of real coral, but it's fake coral. Okay. Um, also, too, you guys wanted something very sleek and slick that was going to fit in with what you got. It's exactly what I think we all had in mind. That was the number three tank of all time. It's just a big fake reef tank with a lot of fish. Okay. Maybe my standards are too high. 
Jesus Christ. This is the second best tank of all time. Awesome. There's a lot in here. There's a ton of detail on that thing. The detail is fantastic. The artists are great. This is crazy. I just don't find that... I mean, I guess... If you're like a Route 66 museum and you want... Like, I feel like you could do it more subtly. And have like a nice tank if you wanted it to. I don't know. I guess it gets the point across. It's probably fine for the fish and it's probably... It just, it's just so much going on. It looks so fake to me. It's just not appealing. You got a beautiful custom tank here. It just feels like you've built like a model train set and then filled it up with water, right? Like it doesn't feel like a tank, like a fish tank. It just feels like, yeah, like that. Like you've built like a model dollhouse or something like that. Like someone could do this. You could just take a big tank, put a fucking Barbie dream house in it and then put fish in it and be like, okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> like... You can do this with anything. It doesn't make a lot of sense. It's 96. They overstock the fuck out of these tanks. They definitely do put a lot of fish. Probably just because they want to get a lot of different colors or whatever, but. Six inches long, 24 inches wide. I'd love to see updates. I wonder how the fish do. Because this isn't the worst. Like, the fish are in fine conditions. It's not ideal conditions, but they're fine. But I wonder, are these people really able to maintain this? Is the Route 66 Museum really able to maintain a saltwater aquarium that is, you know, to this degree? I would somehow doubt it. It's approximately 500 gallons, okay? Wow. So it's all wow. custom. <laughs> they have no concept of that. He just, he says it in a way. He could have said anything. This has 20 gallons. And they would all have been like, wow, wow. <laughs> you just say it the right way, they all they all just pog. That's it's the same thing with stream. If I act excited about something, everyone in chat will pog. You guys could have no idea what's going on. I'd be like, oh my god, I got my thing. No way. And everyone in chat will pog, and you have no idea what I'm talking about. But it just... <laughs> just like, you know, a bunch of lemmings. <laughs> the number one tank that they've built. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Okay. Look at that. Oh. oh. No. Kurt Bush, NASCAR champion. You know, if I had to guess Kurt Bush's occupation, I think NASCAR racer would have been in my top five guesses. Oh. All the vibrant look colors. Look at the boat. Oh my goodness. Is it just me or do the random pieces of house look really bad? Detail. It's so animated. Like this looks, this sticks out. This looks bad. This looks bad. Like, this house is fine, it's like a complete piece, but these random pieces of roofing that are sticking out of the... It All looks really bad. Cup. Like, why is this here? What is this? Get the boat! Oh my goodness! That was you Kurt's idea. Yeah. <laughs> There's a random boat, okay? A little pictures. toy boat. Looks... Your tank here is 96 inches long. Okay, it's wow. 30 inches wide and 48 Huge. inches it's so tall. much bigger than... <laughs> Why is he just throwing out inches? Does he really think that they have a mental concept of how many inches wide and long the average aquarium is and this is going to impress them? I thought it's amazing. It's 600 gallons. Wow. Of the <laughs> he says it in the same way. It's 200 gallons. It's 600 gallons. 1900 gallons. He always emphasizes the 100 and everyone always just says, wow. It looks like we're snorkeling in the Caribbean. Right <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> It doesn't look like that. So we filled it with fish not only from the Caribbean, but other fish as well. I did a lot of school. Okay. Is that not every tank ever? It's filled with either fish from the Caribbean or not from the Caribbean. That's every okay. fish tank ever. This is amazing. You did such a phenomenal. Yeah, see, there's just no way that this gets maintained. This is like, every time I see one of these, I'm like, there's no way that these owners end up maintaining these. I guess if you got what you wanted and the fish are in decent conditions, then... Who cares? Who am I to complain? They're kinda cool, I guess. Whoa.